Vectors, page 10. In general, for two points A and B with position vectors A and B respectively, we observe that the vector AB is equal to the negative of the vector A plus the vector B or vector B minus vector A, which is equal to B1 minus A1 oh, uh, and B2 minus A2. Um, and the vector BA, which is in the opposite direction, is simply A1 minus B1, and below you have A2 minus B2. Um, find AB given that A, uh, which is 2 comma 3, and B, which is 4 comma 7. Um, basically, we just have to subtract the B coordinates um, subtract the a coordinates from the b coordinates. So it's equal to 2 over 4. That's a 3 right there. Okay. And then what if a and b are like that? Then we have uh, b coordinates minus the a coordinates. Okay. And then. Um, here we have the B coordinates minus the A coordinates. Okay. Number two, consider the point A, which is coordinates 1, 4. Find the coordinates of B, given that AB is equal to 3, negative 2. Okay, so we don't know the coordinates of B, but we want to know them. Remember that the equation is that uh, we subtract the B coordinates minus the A coordinates, and that gives us um, the vector A, B, which is 3, negative 2. So now we can just equate the X component with the Y, with the uh, X component, and the Y component with the Y component. So B1 is actually equal to, add 1 to both sides, we get 4. B2 is equal to add 4 to both sides, we get 2. So the um, coordinates of B are 4, comma 2. Okay. Then moving on to 3. PQ is the diameter of a circle with center C. Find PC, vector PC. So vector PC would be the C uh, coordinates minus the P coordinates. So that would be equal to 2 and then 1. So that's vector PC, part A. Part B, find the coordinates of Q. Okay, so the way you could uh, do this is um, you, could, uh, you, you figured out what the vector PC is. What if you add the vector PC to this, uh, these coordinates here? Then you would get Q, right? So I'm going to start with my coordinates for C, which are 1, 2. And then I'm going to add the coordinates for, um, for PC, which, or, yeah, PC, which would be add 2 and add 1. So that would tell me that the Q coordinates are 3 and 3. 3 and 3. Okay. All right. Uh, 5. The coordinates for A are negative 1 and 3, and the coordinates for B are 3, comma K. And they're two points which are five units apart. Hmm. So that means that um, if we take if we find uh, the vector AB, it would look like this. 3 minus negative 1 and K minus 3. That would be the vector AB. And uh, so let's simplify that. 3 minus negative 1 is 4. K minus 3 is just K minus 3. And then I'm going to find the length of that. So I, I just found AB. And now I'm going to find the... The, the length of AB. The way I find the length of AB is I do Pythagorean's theorem. So it would be 4 squared plus 
k minus 3 squared. k minus 3 squared. So if you expand k minus 3 squared, you get k squared minus 6k plus 9. And then if you combine the 16 and the 9, you get k squared minus 6k plus 25. And then remember that these two points are 5 units apart, so that means that the distance is equal to 5. And then um, we can uh, square both sides, and then we get k squared minus 6k plus 25 equals 25, and then we could subtract 25 from both sides, we get k squared minus 6k, k squared minus 6k equals 0, and then uh, we could factor out a k and we'll get k, um, uh, k times the quantity k minus 6 equals 0. So the two possible values of k are k equals 6 and k equals 0. Okay, and uh, show by illustration why k should have two possible values. Um, okay, so let's see, if we draw uh, a point A, it would be at negative 1, 3, and B is somewhere at 1, 2, 3. And so uh, one of the possible points is there which is 3 comma 0, and the other one is 3 comma 6, which would be 1, 2, 3, right here. And so that shows you that, okay, uh, if we're saying that the x-coordinate is going to be 3, there's uh, this point is 5 units away, and this point is 5 units away. They're both 5 units away, so that's why k can have two possible values. Okay, Number 7, given that uh, vector ba is equal to 2, negative 3, and vector BC is equal to negative 3, 1, find AC. So just remember that uh, the vector AC is equal to the vector AB plus the vector BC, right? So now let's see, uh, do we have the vector AB? No, but we have something close to it. We have the vector BA. Do we have the vector BC? Yes, we do. Okay, so um, let's see. So AC would equal to the opposite of of BA, which is would be negative 2, positive 3, added to negative 3, 1. Okay, add these together. And so that would give us uh, negative 5, 4. Okay, next one. Uh, find CB. Um, and so CB is equal to um, C A plus A B. So that would be 2 negative 1 plus A B would be negative 1 3. So that would be equal to 1 2. Okay. Last one. Find S P given these three. So we can have, uh, let's see, S R plus RQ plus QP. Okay, and so let's see, SR, do we have an SR? No, but we have RS, so we can just reverse that. Do we have an RQ? Yeah, we have exactly RQ, so we just copy that down. And then QP, do we have QP? No, but we have the opposite, so we just reverse that. Positive one over negative four. Okay, now we just add up all the x components, which would give us 6. Add up all the y components, which gives us negative 5. Okay, 6, negative 5. And we're done with page 10.